Microsoft SharePoint Online. Team Sites, Understanding the Basics. Think of a team site as a private web space within your organization. That means that only those who have permission to participate in the team site are allowed access. Everyone else in the organization and everyone outside of the organization will not be able to get in to your private website. A SharePoint team site provides a container so you can place your shared information into a website reserved for your team. A SharePoint site is a great tool for collaboration. A SharePoint site is a website that provides a central storage and collaboration space for documents, information, and ideas. It's such a great alternative to shared drives, flooding email inboxes, and printing things out. It's just so important to have that central location for version control, ease of access, and team focus. In your organization, you probably work with lots of coworkers. They might be people in your office or people at a different location. With SharePoint Online, it doesn't really matter if your team is in the same building, the same department, or actually anywhere in the world where a person can access an internet connection. You could be in the office or traveling. It doesn't really matter. It's all on SharePoint. This is collaborative, controlled, and a great way to work on projects with your team. A typical site might include shared document libraries, calendars, task lists, discussion boards, news items, and other lists. There can be lots of different teams, and you may or may not have permissions to view the site. You could be part of just one team site or many different team sites, depending on your organization. Some smaller organizations, like Espresso Cafe, might just have one team site, and that's totally fine. Or you could even have a team site that has a short lifespan. Maybe when that project is over, you no longer have a need for that team site. Or maybe you're planning the company holiday party and certain people are assigned tasks and documents are created. SharePoint team sites can also be long-lasting, your internal website. With social networking capabilities, a team site can provide a space for conversation and collaboration. I could post a document and a dialogue and avoid emailing, and everyone loves fewer emails in their inbox. And with Office Online, you can edit documents either on your local machine or other device, as I've mentioned many times, but only have one version of the document. And there are just so many options and functionality within a team site. In this video series, I'll discuss many of the options that are available to help us stay organized. Another important part of SharePoint is that it's scalable and extendable, meaning that if your team grows or shrinks, you simply add or remove members. It's extendable because you can create custom libraries, lists, and whatever else your team would like to use. SharePoint is very clear about who has different roles, as in owner, contributor, editor, reviewer, etc. So to recap, team sites are a great way to coordinate team activities through collaboration and storage. Most team sites include document libraries and lists, which can store various types of files and data. Many team sites also have subsites. Members can gain quick access to site content. A SharePoint team site is a collaborative environment that provides teams with a central location for organizing and sharing information. And that's team sites, understanding the basics, and SharePoint Online.